So you're setting up a PMAX campaign and you're wondering, how many asset groups should I create? One, 10, 50? It's a question that my team and I get all the time. And today I'm gonna to help you answer it with a clear practical framework that you can apply to your own situation. Let's get into it. So first, what is an asset group? An asset group is a bundle of assets that you give to Google to put into ads. These ads can either target your entire product catalog or a specific portion of it. You can create just one or even have a hundred of them in a PMAX campaign. But here's the thing, if you only have a few asset groups, some products may not get the best ads to perform well. On the other hand, if you create too many asset groups, your campaign budget could be spread too thin to properly optimize. This can hold back your results and waste your budget. So how many asset groups should you create? It depends on three factors your product types, your shopping audience, and your assets. Just a quick reminder, when I say assets, I mean the parts that make up your ad. Headlines, descriptions, videos, and images. I'll leave a link to a video down below where I teach you how to create really, really great assets for your PMAX campaign. Now, let's imagine that you have an online store that only sells electric guitars. Even though there are many models, styles, colors, brands, you only sell electric guitars. That means that I would consider them to be one product type. Your shopping audience can also be narrowed down to just one segment. People who are in market for electric guitars. Finally, your ad assets have just one theme, that you're a great store to buy an electric guitar from. Taking all these factors into consideration, you should just create one asset group. It doesn't matter if your product catalog size is one or 10,000. Performance Max is designed to optimize its targeting of audiences. It does this based on your product type and it also tests your assets to refine the targeting further. One asset group for the factors that I described is enough. But let's just say you wanted to test two different themes for your assets. One theme focuses on the quality of the guitars. That means headlines, descriptions, videos, and images highlighting the quality. The second theme focusing on pricing with the assets promoting the savings that your store offers. This is where you would consider creating another asset group to test this theme. In this case, the divergence of asset themes is the key factor. It determines how many asset groups you create. Now, let's imagine a different scenario where you're not testing different themes. You've noticed that you have two different types of customers. They're quite distinct from each other. The only thing that they have in common is that they both buy electric guitars. The first type are very price sensitive and tend to be beginners. The second type is professional musicians. They value high-end models and are willing to invest in them. This is a great reason to set up two different asset groups. For price sensitive beginners, you'll be advertising budget-friendly guitars. For high-end professionals, you advertise your best and more expensive guitars. This split in your shopping audience helps to guide you in how many asset groups you should create. Now, let's just say you've added acoustic guitars to your store. Should you split your asset groups between electric and acoustic guitars? I would say no, just for that reason. To explain, let's review three factors that I've been talking about. As a product type, an electric guitar may seem quite different from an acoustic guitar. And that's understandable, especially if you know guitars and you're an expert on guitars. But if you pull back your perspective, you'll see that they're both stringed instruments called guitars. For its product type taxonomy, Google doesn't even recognize the difference. Electric or acoustic is simply an attribute of a guitar as a product type. And the shopping audiences see it the same way. People looking for electric guitars aren't all that different from people looking for acoustic guitars. Both audiences are in market for a guitar and share similar affinities for music that Google tracks on its users. As for your assets, they can easily convey that you sell both acoustic and electric guitars. Now, let's imagine one more scenario where you've added band t-shirts into your catalog where you're already selling guitars. Both guitars and t-shirts are musically related. However, when we think about the shopping audiences, things change. Not everyone that's in market for a t-shirt is also looking for a guitar. And the same goes for the other way around. For an asset group to perform well over time, it needs focus. We want Google to optimize towards a very specific shopping audience. While these two audiences do overlap, they're still distinct. That's why I recommend breaking them into separate asset groups. Now, that's how we approach asset groups in your Performance Max campaigns. If you have any questions, let me know down below in the comments. And if you're still unsure about how to structure your PMAX campaign, or your PMAX campaign isn't performing as it should, we've created just the thing to help you out. It's called the Keycom Academy. 
It's where we help e-commerce store owners run profitable marketing campaigns. We do this with weekly coaching sessions and full step-by-step -step courses. You'll get direct access to my team in an engaged community of store owners just like you. It's support, strategy, and connection all in the one place. I'll drop the link below, go and check it out. And if you're already doing 20K a month in sales and you wanna to scale to seven figures and above, my team and I, we actually do this for you. We manage your campaign, scale your store, so you can focus on the rest of your business. If you wanna to speak to us about how we can do this for you, I'll leave a link to our calendar down below. You can book a call. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. Make sure to check out our other videos. This one here might be especially useful for you.